So, I've been making some progress on my Xterra. Uh, finally got the check engine light to stay off. I ended up being an O2 sensor, so put one in and that solved it. Got it emissioned. Uh, but now it needs tires. I'd pick some wheels up that have the tire size I need. I just gotta swap the tires off. So uh, that's what I'm up to tonight. Uh, just got to my garage where I have my tire machine, so time to get to work. <laughs> Well, here we are. So like I said, this is the garage I have my tire machine at. Also store our 24 hours of lemons, E36 here. And then a friend of ours has his uh, E36 here as well. So got to pull his E36 out, pull the Xterra in as far as I can get it, and then uh, start on the tire. This thing actually fits in here pretty well, but I need to pull my bike rack off the back so that I can pull it in a little bit more and get the door closed. Because once the compressor is running and stuff, it pretty much runs non-stop and it gets noisy. So I just want to do that so the neighbors don't complain. But like I said, pull the rack off, pull it in a little more, and then good to go. Hopefully the jack I have here can lift this thing up, but I think I have a combination of the jack and maybe some 4x4s or something to, to get it in the air. But... So when it comes to tires, I'm generally pretty cheap, especially because I have access to a machine. So I try to buy either new and do them myself, save 150, 100 bucks usually, uh, or I try and find something used that is in pretty good shape. That's exactly what I did for this. They're gonna roll out of here, so I gotta improvise. So I got a set of five Jeep Wrangler wheels and tires uh, in the tire size I need with great tread. They're a couple years old, but they don't have any dry rot cracking or stress cracks or anything. So they're the size I need. They're on wheels now, which is just a little more work, but then it's also something for me to sell. Uh, paid 200 bucks. Look, take me a couple hours to do them here, and I can probably make at least 100 bucks back. So not free tires, but 100 bucks. I couldn't even find one new tire for less than about 150. So potentially saved me about 600 bucks all in all. So not a bad deal. I gotta get these unloaded. All those tires are dismounted and the wheels in a separate pile over there. So now just gotta get started on jacking this thing up and doing one wheel at a time. Well as you can see this tire is definitely uh, near its end of life. Uh, there's some dry rot cracking uh, and I think that's lower than 236. I don't even think that would have passed inspection. So. Time to pop these tires on. Uh, do a time lapse for this because that's much easier. <laughs> One is mounted, uh, now I just need to balance it and then knock out the other four quick. So one of the reasons, or the main reason why I didn't even know this thing needed tires when I bought it is because I was catfished by the left front. So the left front, there was basically a picture of kind of the front of the car here. And uh, you can see this tire has great tread. I'm like, oh, that's like new tires, we're good. So went, looked at it, bought it. And when I got home, this tire was recently replaced. This is like a practically brand new Michelin 
I gotta flip it over to see the date code, but yeah, I was catfished. These other three tires, and they're junk. So, and they're some, I don't know, some other brand. Definitely got the life out of them, but they're pretty worn. And then the spare is another brand of tire. So that looks pretty good. Um, I don't really feel like tearing it down from the car tonight. And I don't know, I just don't feel like doing it. And the tire's good. So might be old, could be original. I don't see any stress cracks or dry rot or anything. So I'm gonna let it go. And I'll just sell the fifth tire that I have along with this uh, Michelin that I have or whatever it is, it's a Firestone. I'll be able to sell that and recoup some money. And so between, so I'll have to dispose of the uh, three tires. I'll have two tires to sell, whatever I get for those, 40, 50 bucks a piece. And then the set of Jeep wheels, this should net me, should only be out like 50 bucks or so, maybe a hundred bucks total in this whole thing. Um, not a bad deal to get new tires. And ultimately I think this thing's gonna be sold anyway, so it's nice to have those on to sell it, but gonna knock out this last one and then uh, should be good don't know if I have to do anything with the tire pressures yet I have my uh, I have my tire pressure tool with and I have the paper clip for the reset process for these uh, so we'll see well that's pretty much a wrap for the night everything's mounted and balanced uh, like I said didn't touch the spare so I've got that tire to sell that I was gonna put on the spare and also this uh, Firestone that I had pulled off so Everything's mounted and balanced. The last thing I want to do tonight is check the tire pressure sensors, make sure they're all reading, and set them with my gauge to around 35. So I just want to see if uh, if they're all close to that. Uh, I also still need to clean the wheels really well, but that's for a separate day. I don't have uh, I don't have, have enough time tonight. I think it's like 12:30, and I got to get home and. Uh, Tomorrow morning, I gotta go to Philly first thing. So, just make sure the sensors are working. I have an ATEC tool. Uh, probably for the average person, it's overkill. Uh, but I bought it the other week because everything I owned had a tire pressure light on. Uh, my truck, this had it on, our van. So, for the 200 bucks that this cost, I was able to at least diagnose them all figure out what the problem was. I'm gonna go around, scan all four of the tires, and then get out of here, but should uh, should make this thing drive a little better. It was terrible in the snow. Now it's March, middle of March now, so it's probably done snowing, but even better, and hopefully a little better driving in the rain too. But like I said, that's it for today. Uh, probably get to cleaning the wheels, and this thing needs detailed really bad, so that might be the next video on this itself. Uh, should have another three, uh, TI video coming up too, so hopefully have that out in a couple days as well. I really need to get uh, need to get moving, get some traction on that project. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.